All right, guys. So we have now finally planned out the perfect custom post type. And we know exactly what categories we're going to be using. We know that we're going to be using some custom taxonomy. And we're going to be adding a bunch of advanced custom fields. Right now, we're going to get into adding the custom post type itself using Divi Machine. So without further ado, let's hop on to the back end of our Divi sites and go and do this. So we're going to get started here on the back end of our Divi site. You got to make sure that you've got Divi Machine installed, your license is in there, ACF is installed, and all that stuff is done that we discussed before. On this back end, you're going to go to Divi Engine and you'll see the Add Edit Post Types option. We're going to go ahead and click on that one. And of course, we don't have any custom post types yet. It is time to add our classified post type. So we're going to click on Add New up here. And first and foremost, you're going to have to give this a name. Now, you need to think about this name because this is what we're going to be using throughout this project. And I'm going to call this Classifieds. Now, the moment I click out of there, you can see that Divi Machine automatically puts a post type name here for you. And I think that's good. The slug is going to be classified, so that's great. And then you can also put a description in here, and we'll just say used for classified posts. Now, this is not user-facing, so you don't need to really worry about that. I just put that in for posterity. And of course, again, just with this slug, as we mentioned in the previous lesson, you want to avoid the reserved terms from the WordPress website, and that is that list over here so that those slugs do not infringe upon those. Otherwise, you will have issues with your site. So let's hop back over here and continue on down. Now, there are going to be a lot of different settings in here. I'm not going to cover them all. You can check out the documentation at help.divienjin.com. That will cover all of these things in detail, but I'll try and give you a good feel of it. And of course, there's the Discord where you can come ask some questions. There is the Divi Engine user group to support. Don't hesitate to ask questions. Okay, so moving on down here, we've got the post visibility, and there are two items we are interested in here. And the first one's gonna be where it's gonna be in the admin bar. That's a sidebar right here. And you can see when you drop this down, it's got a bunch of different things. And the first one is, well, do you want it below the posts? So right underneath that, or media, or links, or wherever you would like that to go. I think below posts makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to keep it at that setting. But if you wanted it below users, for example, to come in down here between tools and users, hey, it's your world. I'm not going to mess with it. But for me, I want it below my posts. Next up, you can give it an icon. So these little icons here on the side. So you can just click this link right here and it'll take you to the WordPress developer site where it has an index of icons. Now you can go and filter it and look for something specifically. I found this one here, which technically is a widget menus one, but there's a lot of different options here that you can go through. I'm gonna select this one. And then what you gotta do is up here, you're just gonna select that code here. It, I call it a code, but it's just really the identifier within the WordPress core for that. And then we just come back here and we paste that in. Super simple to do. And when we save this, you'll see it pop up underneath posts with that icon. So let's continue on for now. So there are a bunch of advanced options here. There's the taxonomy, and we talked about that quite a bit, and those reserved terms. And we talked about, as we were planning, that WordPress includes default functionality for the taxonomy of categories and tags. So we're gonna utilize that for those for sale, free stuff, or lost and found post types. But we can select on or off for either of these. I'm gonna leave them both on. We won't be using tags, but we definitely will be using categories. But I wanna leave that in there so that you can see that it makes it into the actual post type. Further down, you can select what type of content, default content this is now. So the default fields you want your posts to have. We are not gonna mess around with this too much. We're gonna keep the title, the content. We don't need the excerpt. I'll take that away. We'll use a featured image. You can put comments in there, revisions, and all the other things that you want to select. But we also put in custom fields. We're going to need that one. Now, you know, revisions might seem like a good idea, but it bloats your database. Bloated databases slow down websites. So keep that in mind. 
when you're going through this and selecting what you want your custom post type to have. Scrolling down, we have different options as far as whether you want it to have archive pages, it's got some slug related stuff, um, whether you're able to rewrite, all this fun stuff. We're not gonna mess with that too much. We're gonna come down here to the labels. Now the label is how your post is referred to in the WordPress site. So over up here at new, you've got post, media, your classifieds will show up there also, but it would be the singular version classified. And you can see here as you go down, add new classified. That makes sense, right? Because it's the singular form of the word here, classifieds, which is the plural. And you just want to make sure that the language makes sense to you. Could be confusing to users if you don't have the vMachine accounts or the vForm folder to manage the post that way. So going down, we're going to go and click the Create Post button. It'll do some fancy thinking. We'll publish it. And there we go. Now we've got our classifieds published. And when we look here in the side, lo and behold, we have our classified. So when we click on here, it has all the fun stuff for our classifieds. How amazing is that? That was so easy to do. Divi Machine really does make this a breeze. So you can think of back in the day, you might have had to hand code these with some PHP, put it in your functions.php file. Super easy to do it with Divi Machine. Okay, so there we have it, guys. We have everything set up as far as our custom post type goes. Now next up, as part of that planning phase, we've got that first column done. Now we need to go ahead and start working on the taxonomy and we're gonna start with the categories and that custom taxonomy for the item type. Now stick around and I'll catch you in that lesson real soon. Thanks.